Hey guys, how to save money on food. Things are getting more expensive, groceries, shopping, petrol. So how am I gonna save money on food? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this year, okay, I've spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on KFC, McDonald's, Hungry Jack's, Subway, Nando's, fish and chips, Chinese food, you name it. And I've said to myself, this is not sustainable. I've got to get out of this pattern and I've got to return back to my savings, back to my discipline, back to healthy eating. How am I going to do it? Well, the first way that I'm going to do it is understanding something called compounding. Now, I realize that the reason why I'm spending this money on food is because, you know, comment below if this happens to you. You know, you go to the shops, you think, oh, it's only $10. It's only a $10 KFC meal. It's only a $5. It's only $20. I'm only spending $20. I'm only spending $30 on KFC. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I do that every day, five times three is 15. It's $150 a week on KFC I'm spending because I think to myself, it's only $15. So ladies and gentlemen, I've got a question for you. Is a $5 coffee every day expensive? Yeah, well to you, to me, maybe it's not, who knows? But almost if I spend $5 coffee on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's five, what's $25 a week? Well, what's $25 a week? And gentlemen, $25 a week is $1,300 a year. I've got a question for you. Is $1,300 a lot of money? Well, to me it is. To you, hey, maybe not, you know, but to me, $1,300 is a lot of money. So what I realized, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the first rules of financing is compounding. That $20 doesn't sound like a lot of money to me, but when I'm doing these things every single day, it compounds, uh, okay, to end up in a result of thousands of dollars a year on junk food, which I don't need, number one. I could be preparing my food and uh, I'm, I'm wasting money. So these are the things I need to do to get back into my savings is understanding the effects of compounding. Every single thing I do in one day, it affects the end of the year. So that's number one. Ladies and gentlemen, the next thing I need to do is save my money is, you know, on a Sunday night, if I don't have Monday or the week's food prepared, guess what I'm doing? I'm going to 7-Eleven, I'm buying whatever it is. So the second thing I need to do, prepare my food for the week, whether it be a whole week, the day before, I need to make sure that the day before, okay, my lunch is already pre-packed, whether it's peanut butter sandwiches, whether it's, you know, veggies and chicken, whatever it is, I need to make sure that when I go to bed, my day, the next day is prepared as far as food goes. That's the second thing. So preparation is key. I need to get back into that. Well, the third way to saving money is something called branding. I've got a question for you. Do you have a favorite brand of food? Well, when I was younger, I was um, eating teddy bear biscuits, you know, the um, my favorite, the, the name brand of teddy bear biscuits. Anyway, I think maybe we were struggling, or I don't know what it was, but my mum started buying the name brand teddy bear biscuits. And the first taste of this stuff, I can tell you right now, mate, the worst teddy bear, but teddy bear biscuits. But after every single day, because you know, when I was eight years old, 10 years old, it wasn't as if I could go to the shops and buy my own teddy bear biscuits. So every single day I'm eating these teddy bear biscuits and eventually, Okay, I started liking them and I like these, these no name brands better than I do the name brand. And what that, the third thing is to saving money is understanding we can, you know, we can change our taste buds. How many people, you know, don't like smoking, but they end up liking smoking. Again, not a good example, but how many people like beer now, but when we're growing up, we didn't like beer or same as wine. You know, we, we don't like wine when we were kids, but now we like wine. And so it's the same principle. So one thing we can do to save money on food is buying the name brand of our products. And the first time, the second time, the third time, it's not going to taste good, um, but it eventually will. So right at the moment, I'm buying 90 cent Woolworths tuna. And to me, it tastes great. Okay, so that's the third thing, trying these cheaper foods and just keeping at it uh, and keep trying them. The last way to saving money on food is understanding something called opportunity cost in finance. What does that mean? Well, what it means is, is that we pay a price for the decisions we make. Um, so if I spend $10,000 on a car, um, I'm going to lose the 10,000. But not only do I pay the price on making the decision that I made, I also pay a price on the decisions that I don't make. What does that mean? Well, $10,000 on a car, um, it's $10,000 that I'm spending. But I'm also making a decision to not choose a different option of spending those $10,000. What does that mean? Well, what was if I put $10,000 in the Australian stock market at an average return of 8%? Well, $10,000 now and 8% returns over 20 years. Let's just say it results in $30,000 after 20 years. By making decision A, I'm spending the 10,000, but I'm also choosing not to put my money in the stock market, which means the opportunity cost is 30,000 minus 10 is $20,000. And so I just mentioned at the start of the video that I was spending thousands of dollars 
you know, on, on Maccas and KFC. So not only am I losing the thousand dollars, but I'm also potentially losing the upside of taking that thousand dollars and paying down some debts, paying off my mortgage, putting it in the stock market, putting it, I'm, I'm losing potential upside on something else, another decision. That's the opportunity cost. Three main ways to saving money that I've learned are everything I do in one day, it compounds over time. So these $20 KFC meals, even though it's only $20, if I do it every day, it adds up to become a lot of money. So I need to make sure I stay in control of my daily habits. That's number one. Number two, okay, trying out those those cheaper foods. It's not gonna taste nice on the first time, but after a while, I'm just gonna get used to it. Just gotta keep, keep trying those foods and I'll save money on my total grocery bill every week. Number three, gotta stay prepared. Every Sunday, every night before, I gotta prepare my foods for the next day. Otherwise, I'm going straight to KFC, so I gotta prepare myself. And the last one, ladies and gentlemen, is opportunity cost, okay? Every time I spend thousands of dollars on dumb shit, I'm also making the decision to not spend that thousand dollars on something else that could be making me more money. So $1,300 on coffee a year, in case I could take $1,300, again, invest it in the stock market and make more money. So not only is it costing me $1,300, it's also potentially costing me tens of thousand dollars on the upside of another decision. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I'm saying, we've got more videos coming up, keeping up with the Joneses, how not to lose thousands of dollars. Again, personal experience coming up. We've got freestyle, fitness videos, nutrition videos all coming up. So make sure you click subscribe and click that notification button and I'll see you next time.